So without going through the whole entire site, and it goes into other things like demonic portals that people think are graffiti, I think I'll go over that real quick because I think that's interesting too. Um, all right, so this talks about demonic portals. There are symbols and graffiti and things throughout the inner cities that we would look at and say, oh, that's a, a gang tag. But actually, it's not. It's a demonic portal. And um, these marks you will find on almost everything. Um, honestly, I mean, there's all sorts of marks that are, you know, not, not good. I mean, Jesus and God never had us use symbols or markings or anything to represent Christ or, you know, those things. I mean, we are not to do this. We are not to make symbolism and symbols and witchcrafty deals. You know, that's, that's witchcrafty. Um, but again, you might laugh and say that these are just, you know, things, but they are symbols that are portals. You know, and that is, you know, I believe that to be true because you, you, the, the whole system of the satanic is symbolic and uses symbolism in the rituals and in the things. And if you just go laying these satanic symbols all over everything, of course you're creating portals. Of course you are. So it's even in letters. You know, and different things. This is where you get all your gematria and your Kabbalah and your numbers and your blah, blah, blah. So this website's just a great resource. But if you'll start to see these uh, things everywhere, if you're looking for them. Like the USB symbol. Ain't that a creepy looking symbol? Look at that thing. That's some creepy looking thing. That don't make sense. That does not even, uh, what's that have to do with, with a, an adapter? You know, it just looks weird. It looks foreign. It looks satanic. You know? Bluetoothy deal. That's kind of a weird thing. Kind of a weird symbol. You know? Time Warner cable. Look at that. I mean, that's that's an odd choice for a symbol, right? Isn't that an odd choice for a for a cable company? Look at the look at the similarity to that satanic symbol. In fact, that's two satanic symbols put together, and that's exactly what that is. But this this is what I wanted to see. This is like the graffiti that is actually portals. It doesn't even make sense. Look, see, there you got the circle with the dot that was earlier on the website. And then look at these strange words. And they put them at intersections and corners and things that lots of people pass by. Look at this stuff. This is some, and you see this in inner cities. You see this stuff scrolled on overpasses and on uh, things. And it doesn't even make sense because it's not a gang. It's not a tag. It's not a picture. It's not really even hardly even words. It's just this strange, demonic-looking script that doesn't seem to have a purpose or a meaning. But, uh, but, but, but I, I assure you it does. I mean, look at these guys. Look at these guys. You think someone's just writing that for fun on some pillar? That's some demonic, evil-looking crap. Look at the symbolism. You got that weird, that weird thing, and you got this weird spirally thing. Then you got more of these weird, you know wavy things. I mean, it's just creepy. That, that, that's not even fun graffiti. That's not even graffiti. That's, that's, that's satanic, you know, portal -y things. I mean, look at that. That's creepy looking. Is it not creepy and evil looking? Look at that crap. It's creepy and evil looking. Look at that. Again, you got the spirally thing, a weird star. Some, you know, the whole thing is weird. Look at that. 
Look at that. There's like a bunch of demonic stuff on that one. Let's look at that. What do you got? Yeah, the whole pole is full of weird demonic crap. What do you got here? There's another one of that weird portally thing. You know, symbolism on everything. This this will really freak you out if you go into this. Look at look at the symbols that are just on a tag for a piece of clothing. Now, if you if you've studied anything about symbolism and uh, you know that type of stuff, look how similar this garbage looks to satanic symbolism. I mean, is that really necessary for like a shirt? I mean, look at that. If that if that if that truly is a portal, it happens there. It happens there. There's another weird thing. The the X with a circle. 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 Weird triangle. Weird triangle. Weird triangle. Weird triangle. You know, wavy lines. Wavy lines. Wavy lines. You know, this is weird, creepy stuff. Look at the back. What is this? This is a, this is a like a power inverter for like a, a, a laptop or a phone or something. I'm sure this garbage is on almost anything. Look at the symbols on the, this thing. What in the heck does this have to do with the job of this thing? Look, creepy triangle with a circle in it. Weird, weird wavy lines, you know, triangles, circles with lines through it. Circles with letters, weird things, triangle circles, creepy squares, wavy lines, KC, wavy lines, all this garbage, all this weirdo crap, X's, you know? It's just weird. Does it, is it really necessary? Does it really make sense? Does someone need to know that? Does someone need to know that? Are they legally obligated to put all this weird script on everything? What's, what's the purpose? No one needs to know this garbage. If you're the repair people, you know under understand no one's no one's breaking apart these weird power protectors to go through and like they need all this script to like work on it or repair it like it doesn't make sense like it's just I mean that, that that none of this makes sense. If you want to have like a warning, this is electrical, it could be dangerous. That makes sense, but no one's going to even understand what this crap is. No one even no one even knows what it is. It doesn't even make sense why it's there. It doesn't even make sense to the distributor, the manufacturer, the repair people. None of this makes sense to put on products, and it's and it's everywhere. But but there's a lot more on this website. It goes through you know prayer strategies and effective prayer and uh, different things and uh, I don't know. I I. I believe it's it's a very valuable resource. You know, here here's a video. I don't think I got to this one. This shows different aircraft doing strange things in the sky, um, like the website shows. So you now you can see some actual video of what happens to. And again, the cruising altitude of a plane like this would be thirty-seven thousand something feet, which is roughly eight miles away. Um, if conditions were optimal, according to a pilot, you should barely be able to make out the shape of an airplane. If you can even make it out at all, seeing how the underneath of the planes are painted white. Okay. So again, in the airspace, you've got multiple so-called planes in the same airspace, which is, you know, realistically unprobable considering the different flight paths and patterns of you know airplanes but again we shouldn't even be able to make out these shapes of aircraft you know but just watch how they don't even behave like aircraft you know this one's gonna start glowing and freaking out look at it Look at it. And then this is the type of sky you're left with. Like, what is that? What is this crap? That, look at this one's good. This one's good. Look at this one. 
can hardly even see the plane. It's all grow, glowing, all weird and strange, you know. And again, on these planes that aren't planes, watch the tail lights and the lights that are supposed to be on the wings. They flash at random intervals, and a lot of times they don't even have the flashing lights at all. But look at it. Does that look like a normal airplane to you? It's practically translucent. It's translucent. Look at it. Does that look like a normal airplane to you? Does it? Don't look like it to me. So, I guess what I'm getting at here, if I'm going to sum it up, is question everything. Question everything. Nothing, nothing exists the way you totally think it does. Nothing is solid the way you think it's solid. Nothing is, you know, the world doesn't exist the way they taught you in school. That's just not true. There's a lot of spiritual phenomenon that can't be explained through science and physicality. They can be explained through scripture and and uh, and God gave us weapons to battle against this type of phenomenon to 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 free other people because this phenomenon, okay, while may while you might be aware and different things might not be totally affecting you, but everyone who is not, you know, aware and not actively aware and not fighting back is coming under the effects of this phenomenon, okay? And it's oppressive, and it makes makes people react. And I think I think if you're an observant person, you will see that, you know, that people act differently on days where this is a heavily manifesting occurrence. So I've wanted to make that video for a while and uh, now it's made and uh, God bless you in Jesus name if you're watching this and uh, and stay strong and courageous through the Lord and the power of his might and I pray that God would would uh, keep us all safe and supernaturally, uh, come into our lives and protect us and uh, and and protect us as we stand against the enemy to expose the works of darkness like his word commanded and to do the uh, the will of God, which is to help people get free. So with that, till next time.